Right, we're going. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hi guys, it's Louis Duncan, I hope you are very well. So I'm on to video number two. I'm here with a fabulous chap on the left of me, or the right of you, depending on how you're looking at the screen. I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell him a little bit about why we're here today. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so my name is Tate, uh, I'm from Cody, uh, and this is our coating corner here at Creative Shop uh, at TPS Magic. And we're looking at three of uh, top fragrances coming up this Christmas. So big three Christmas picks. Uh, for this year, and our Christmas picks are going to be um, Mark Jacobs' Daisy Dream, uh, Chloe, and also Carol Hamlin. Mm -hmm. So we'll explain to you why I picked these three okay. as my favourite three Christmas fragrances. It's not just the pretty bottle. It's not just the pretty bottle, <laughs> uh, but that helps as well. It does. Because uh, there's always those people who love fragrances as well. Everyone has that orange and just collects bottles for everyone. Uh, so I've got something in there for your orange as well. Uh, so we'll start off with Carol Hamlin Reveal. Mm -hmm. And Reveal is our newest fragrance in the market. And uh, Cover Time Reveal is a fragrance that you really need to see. It's just skin reveal. Uh, so I'll actually put it on my side. I really like the box though, actually. I really, and it felt really nice in the hand. Yeah, yeah, it's got a tactile bottom. Something that's really good to know with this fragrance is when you buy the fragrance, as you can see the bottle is quite shiny. When you buy the fragrance in the store, we actually give you a little clock so you can punish the bottle. Uh, so there you go. Get your fingerprints on the bottle. And it's good if you live with someone who you think is stealing your fragrance. <laughs> so you can always come back and see someone else's fingerprints on it. So, so you can take it to uh, the police and then identify them. You can see CSI, <laughs> CSI on the camera. Um, so I so put it on my skin, and it really works with your pheromones. That's what it's about. It's actually designed to bring out the And uh, traditionally, with fragrance, you get like a top note, a hot note, and a base note. Uh, but with this fragrance, it works in other words. So when you smell the fragrance, the first thing you see is actually the base of the fragrance. And the base of the fragrance is sandalwood. And that's a good thing because sandalwood is an apple as well. We like that, yeah? Absolutely. Everyone needs a bit of a burn those candles. This is it. <laughs> so we've got uh, an apple dessert sandalwood in the base of it. And the hard note is a uh, note that's called orris. And orris is actually worth more than its weight in the gold. So it's really expensive. It's similar kind of like with oud, is it? That's it's really glamorous. Like, something quite glamorous. Mm -hmm. it's not quite uh, and the reason why we have such glamorous ingredients is because um, Oris makes all the fragrance last a long time on the skin. And that's really important. Because actually, people are looking for something that lasts in their skin. And also, you get that type of glamorous ingredients. Uh, and the top note is raw salt, which is quite an unusual ingredient. And raw salt, we use that to really bring out the scent of the skin. Really? And that's what we use to bring out the scent of the skin. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's in store at the perfume shop. That's something you definitely have to go in and try. And try it on your skin. Let it settle down for a while. And I promise you, the aphrodisiac quality of the room will have everyone chasing you down. So we were joking and saying for Valentine's Day, that's definitely going to be the one that's uh, going to encourage the baby population next year. This is it. This is it. When you got children, just know why it was. <laughs> Mommy was wearing Reveal. So if you can call it, you know, like celebrity baby names, you can call it Calvin Clark. Calvin <laughs> uh, Reveal doesn't really work as baby names. No. Well, no. well, you know, some people don't mind. Do they? Start. We'll start there are some weird baby names out there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we'll move on to our next fragrance, mm -hmm. and this is a fabulous Mark Jacobs fragrance. And as you can see, the packaging is beautiful. Like yeah. I spoke about the beautiful packaging, and that's uh, that's pretty much a hallmark of Mark Jacobs. You look at Mark Jacobs, it's a dream, no. Daisy, Daisy, are so fresh. It's all about beautiful packaging as well. Absolutely. So the bottles are all collected. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see the influence of what he did with Louis Vuitton and everything that's coming in to what he does for his own brand. Yeah. Louis Vuitton, he did some really quirky, different things. Oh my gosh, I think. Yeah, and we bring that across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it really does show, and now one of the ones with the different textures. So it's nice, it just kind of gives something quirky as well as yeah. a great fragrance. And also, it's kind of like his signature identity. Mm -hmm. Um, so with this fragrance again, a beautiful fragrance. Uh, with this fragrance you've got blackberry in there, you've got jasmine and blue wisteria. So it's a mix of between fruits and flowers. Uh, but what I really love about this fragrance is I believe that this is the perfect Christmas fragrance. This is because when you smell the fragrance, what you see is it's uh, it's not an overwhelming fragrance. And I don't know about you. But no, when I smell it, it's really nice. Actually, it's kind of I think a lot of them are quite sweet, whereas actually this is kind of slightly warmer. Yeah, slightly warmer notes. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, when it comes to Christmas time, I really struggle with my like, friends. It's like, oh, what's they like? Should I give them something sweet, a little floral? Pulling your hair out. And I think with this one, uh, this is a really wearable fragrance. Uh, it's a fragrance that no one would ever actually uh, So I think it's such an easy commercial fragrance. It can be quite, it can be very personal to buy fragrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always good to find something that is uh, quite middle of the range, actually. And this is what you get with Daisy Dream. It's a safe choice for the So, perfect idea if you're looking to get a Christmas present. Uh, Mark Jacobs' Daisy Dream. Mm -hmm. And I've saved one of my favorites for last. Mine too. Yes. 
Uh, this is our signature Chloe fragrance. And the fragrance is new, it's been out since 2008. And what I love about it is it's such a classic fragrance. Um, and so this year we really focused on not being what Chloe is. And everything about this fragrance is high quality. Uh, so every ingredient in here is the best quality you can get on the market. We've got rose in here, but it's the best rose in the market. We've got honey and it's the best in the market. It's all about premium of this fragrance. And with Chloe, it's all about rose. And I know for some people with rose, the first thought is, oh, Auntie Maureen, you know, like with Brian Mark rose. Uh, but this is the more contemporary kind of fragrance. Yeah, really. It's very modern take on it. This is it, yeah. And the way that I like to talk about it, and say maybe you think your eyes are your favorite feature, so you might wear a particular eye shadow or eye highlight to bring out your eyes. And this is how this fragrance works. So everything else in the fragrance is like the eye shadow and eye highlight to bring out the scent of So it's really all about bringing out our rose fragrance. I think it can be a signature fragrance as well. And absolutely it. can, yeah. And also it's, a, it's an ageless fragrance, oh, so you find that people who like it totally all across the age spectrum. And if you are slightly extravagant, it's a fantastic home fragrance. Well, but obviously they, they have that within the boutique as well and it, it's really soft and then I use it in the house and yeah. it's just a really nice it's really not warm scent your room with the scent of Chloe yeah. as we like to say Absolutely. Um, so these are definitely my three top picks for Christmas uh, I've shown you something quite contemporary and interesting with Mark Jacobs Green uh, Daisy Dream uh, Chloe something quite classic and uh, Kevin Klein Reveal it's new in store something to try on your skin something with very exciting content so in there, I'm sure there's something in there for everyone, something a bit different. I should like to Even it. slightly unisex. Really? Like, this uh, is it actually, it's one of my spring on top. It's like, so it has kind of a unisex to it. And that's because we want to really bring out the sensory pheromones, and so we go away from the really girly presence. And also, I feel like um, slightly unisex is also a slightly more sexy. I think so as well. I love a woman in a man's suit. Like, something about the mix of the two, I think, is fantastic. So Koshi are known for their celebrity fragrance, is obviously one of the biggest. So is there anything coming up there? Can you let us into any secrets? What's the best um, selling celebrity fragrance for you? So at the moment we've got uh, a couple of very exciting celebrity fragrances, obviously mm -hmm. the House of David Beckham. Yeah. And we've got a lot of very interesting, exciting things happening in the world of David Beckham. Fabulous. And we also have a new fragrance from the Lady Gaga. Ah. Uh, and the fragrance is called Eau uh, de Gaga, mm -hmm. which is going to be, I call it EDG, Eau de Gaga. <laughs> and Eau uh, de Gaga, it is an androgynous fragrance, okay. which goes back to what you're saying about yeah. a woman wearing a man. So it's a fragrance that really touches on the play between um, the and the female. So no blood in this one? This one, no blood. Good. We've gone away from the controversial part of blood. Uh, but definitely all well, about it certainly it. launched it well, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> and we all remember it. And Absolutely. It yeah, I know, sometimes publicity that way. Yeah. With celebrities, it's well being memorable. <laughs> And do you think there's still a really massive assertion of people buying celebrity fragrances? I think there is, particularly if you have the right celebrities, which uh, we're fortunate enough to have. Especially with David Beckham, who's quite a household name in, his, in, in the British market. Let's be honest, uh, every man wants to be David Beckham, I want to look like him, I uh, want to be married to Victoria, everything about David and his life. Five and Victoria. Yeah, thank you. Good point. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, celebrities like that, and the celebrity people are really connected. Mm -hmm. And so there's still such a massive amount of celebrities. And um, is everything made in the same area? Is it in France? Yes, everything's made. Uh, fragrance mostly comes from, from France, from the grass. For the grass region is really good for making fragrance because uh, it's really ideal to grow the plant. Um, so, yeah, so all beautiful French fragrances, all made in the same region. I'm going to have to tell my publicist if I want a celebrity fragrance to come to Casey. This is it. Uh, just send me your publicist's name. I'll Absolutely, send there we go. There we go, Brad. You've got a deal. There you go. Thank you Brad. so much for spending some time with me. It's so much fun, guys. Don't forget, if you don't celebrate Christmas, there's Hanukkah and many other opportunities to buy some gorgeous fragrances. So these are our top three. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.